Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we're going to we're going to the temple, and uh, of course I had to restart the video because my computer decided to crash again. But because I had to restart the video anyway, while I was scrolling back up to the top of the page, I opened all of the things that I don't like to have to open individually up as I was scrolling. Now let's get right into this. Grandpa's dog, Bessie, had rabies, and he had to put her down, except he couldn't afford to take her to the vet, so he had to take her out back. He wanted Bessie to have a proper funeral, but he couldn't afford a coffin either, so he had Grandma make her one out of bread, so she'd at least be buried in something. Every time I visit him, sitting on the back porch, looking over the yard where Bessie was buried, I think about her too, sometimes, and every time I do, I run out of a phrase. Shop dog. I don't get it. All this bottoms rights and tops rights discourse, you fools. Where is my support for Switches? Support.nintendo.com. Very helpful, Tumblr. Very helpful. And yeah, they're in reverse order because I kind of screwed that one up. That is on me. I need you guys to know that the dude on Tumblr who made non-pizza left beef went on to create Young Sheldon. Non-pizza with left beef is an internet meme created by Steven Laro based on a troll pizza order he made on October 19th, 2007. It has been described as a corporate yet hilarious monstrosity a perfect troll, and a monument to humanity's achievement and hubris. Young Sheldon, created by Steve Malaro. Not entirely sure what to do with this information. Non comedy with left Sheldon. Oh, brother, I just, I had to say a few years back with an autistic guy, where he was like, by the way, you're autistic. It too. And I was like, oh, <laughs> no, I'm not. And he went and through listing, the listing of every diagnostic trait he knows ending with, and you haven't made eye contact with me once, while well, I sat there getting more and more furious. In retrospect, I think it was very funny. I hope he's doing well. Neither diagnosed or undiagnosed by a secret third thing. Peer reviewed. This is one of the ones that you have to actually assume to be able to read. Dream of a new Hitman and Blood Ad Ad Money mission. I had a dream last night that I was playing Hitman Blood Money on my Mac somehow, and I was in this new mansion. The gimmick was that there were these assassin hunters. The skies as regular NBCs that would eventually sneak up behind Agent 47 and insta kill him. If you said one place for too long. Kinda of reminds me of Assassin's Creed's old multiplayer mode. I ended up dying a couple times because I got distracted by the environment or what was in front of me that I forgot I was standing still or walking too slowly. Or I forgot to swing the camera behind me and check if any NPCs were following me. The Assassin Hunters often used a poison syringe weapon to assassinate me when I was distracted. The level itself kinda of resembled the construction site of the unfitted skyscraper in GTA V. I didn't eventually complete the mission by tricking one of the targets into thinking that the assassin hunters were out to get him, so he grabbed a gun and started firing at them. He managed to kill four of them before leaving the assassin before the remaining assassin hunters killed him. I didn't manage to leave the building with a specialist rating. Oh, right. Alien bugs. So you're, so you're saying that human brains sometimes just malfunction and see threats that aren't really there? Yeah, basically. And then the human keeps living and doing things anyways? 
Yep. Wow. Wow. Humans are badass. Aliens would probably have fundamentally different end responses to trauma than humans would. Add. Like their brains would be so fundamentally different at a basic chemical and structural level, we'd have to relearn everything. In this scenario, the alien species is really bad at considering to function with even the, a slightly impaired brain. And deals with it with lots of babies. Oh yeah, great grandpa died three years back when he got really surprised and and what do you mean that human got stabbed through the head and continued to live? I don't believe you! That's impossible! I bet they are all pregnant all the time, and when they randomly die, the baby eats their way out of the corpse. They're insectoid and look a lot like pragmatic, and they really freak out their human friends the first time it happens. There is a sort of generational memory that happens, which is how they manage to develop tech at all, of this being so fragile, so when a creature is get depressed or homesick or manic and die, it's not like their human friends have lost them forever, except for how it sort of is. Please imagine the first time an alien has one of their human friends die. So hey, that was a great funeral. Cool outfits. Always glad to learn more about your culture and stuff. So when is she coming back? She's she's not coming back. Yeah, not Megan, but when is her replacement coming back? We are not hiring anyone new for a couple of weeks. No, no, you're not getting what I'm saying. I want to ask her about that book she lent me. Can I keep it for another week or two, or does her new version want it back? The humans stare at the alien and just at least try to figure out what the alien is saying. The alien shuffles nervously. They have six spindly legs, make, making a screeching noise that echoes in a cold chapel. Finding the kindness of the humans takes the alien aside and... Hey, so us humans don't come back when we die. Not like you do. What? No! But you clearly talk about reincarnation and... Those are just stories, Six. When humans die, we're gone. We don't come back. The end laughs. Fs. No! See, cause that would mean... That would mean that Megan... Megan is... The end cuts off the hissing noise as the equivalent of a sob. I have to go. The aliens speak so weak in their spaceship, the only place they can send communication to their mother. When they come back, their carapace is a glistening new shade of red, and they've ended up as a different gender. When the live advisor asks them how they're doing, how they are feeling about Megan. Megan? Oh yes, my previous version was very fond of Megan. The alien cocks her head like a particularly thoughtful bird. I suppose that I regret her loss. She was a viable member of the team. The lab advisor lets us be. They are aliens after all. But later, when lab hours are done, the advisor knows the six double and triple checking all the lab equipment. Especially, well, the accident that took Megan will never happen again. The book is never returned. Now onto the flip side. Savon finds out his human friend is due to have a baby in six months. Six months, he asks, and finds that uh, no, there's no way to delay a human birth. In six months, a new version of his friend will emerge. Will they still like space operas? What about a business that's really placed in Crowd Red 6? Will they even still want to be friends? His friend asks him to visit, to visit a baby after it's born. Of course, of course he will. It's the least he can do. There's always that formidable phase after birth, and you've got to get the hang of the new odor controls in every... Anyone needs a helping pop for the first few months. That night, he hears a new baby is born. He wells quietly and recites the qualities of his friends that he will miss the most. Three days later, he gathers his resolve and knocks on the hatchet of his friend's place. Strangely, the access panel has been lowered. Rude. Go make sure that's one of the first things to change. His friend's partner are open in the door and lets him in, and there is his friend, looking tired, but well. A major copy of herself held in her arms. Imagine his joy when he finds out that not only will he get to spend longer with his current friend, but there will be another friend to get to know. Whoa. Good bug stories, to be honest. Excellent bug stories. 
I am crying over space bugs. Don't touch me. Oh yeah, that freaking hurt. I got six words for you. I got four words for you. I got two words. Fuck you. <laughs> Go back and count. They, they weren't lying. What do Batman and 16 stadiums have in common? Na 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 John Green, everybody. Tumblr's only adult supervision, and look at him. <laughs> My writing ability currently feels on par with that of, like, a seven-year-old. I'm writing one sentence, then another sentence. Subject, verb, object. Dependent, clause, period. Do any of them relate? Unclear. That is for God to decide because I certainly haven't. The URL makes this so much funnier. Is there a postgrad? College education has worn off. Yay, I get to redo this. Or not, because it doesn't want to zoom in for whatever reason. Finally! Mutual one! I want to turn that a man's. hmm. into silly putty. Mutual two! Here's something I do during science class, lol. It's just a Mona. it's just a Mona Lisa. Mutual three! Please remember that you personally can drink milk and still be a lactose intolerance ally. Anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know their history. Mutual 4. Freaking a robot girl in the. Uh, uh, hmm. Caught up for back end programming. Oh my goodness. Mutual 5. Holy shit. I knew him so fuck. Are you getting badly? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. It's a shire suck. Thank you, sure. <laughs> Mutual 6. You don't want to kind of get a. You don't want it kind of. Hmm. Putting the ignition key in the car. It's so intimate. Turning him on. My goodness. First of all, cars are. You call vehicles she. Mutual 7. So let's talk about where Scribbler's arc is realistically going. I know a lot of people are trying to argue that he's being manipulated, but this ignores the fact that there is clearly unresolved conflict between him and Oblivious about their moralities. Mutual 8. Happy Pro of Hell or Dingling in Thursday. Mutual 9. Scrivlo and Evis need to discuss immorality. A god forbid a pathetic boy, right, boy wife does some torture. Well, I can't speak apparently. Mutual 10. Who is hired for the new album? Let's freaking go! Mutual 11. Guys, we're not getting a new album. Mutual 12. Please stop sending me death threats. Mutual 13. Why is my whole dash talking about this band I don't even listen to? Mutual 14. Hey boy, nice knife. Everyone, can I put my tongue in it? Mutual 15. I'm going to fall into Lake Michigan. Mutual 14 should join you, 15. I'm calling about our numbers now. If that wasn't the most uh, uh, unhinged train of thoughts, I don't know what is. Cough syrup is the most, most nasty, icky thing you can drink, and there's no part of being sick I'm looking forward to more than no longer going to swig it. I can't die. I'm sick and dying. Wow, I I really screwed up at the beginning of that uh, sentence, didn't I? <laughs> I can't die. I'm sick and dying. Have some respect. Oh, wait, I read it wrong. Couch syrup is the most nasty, icky thing you can drink, and there's no part of being sick I'm looking forward to more than no longer needing to swig it. I can't type. I'm sick and dying. Have some respect. If you don't like your couch syrup, can I have it? I would love to decongest my chairways. Boo! Boss, a blast sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gamer fuel. I feel like people need to relearn genre expectations. 
Man, this tragedy sucks. Why didn't they just do X, Y, Z? Then everything could have ended happily. Well, then it wouldn't be a tragedy. Now, would it? Man, this lighthearted teen rom com is so sappy and realistic. Well, yeah, if it had been and gritty and dark, it wouldn't have been a, a lighthearted rom com, would it? Is writing actually bad, or are you just trying to order a milkshake from Home Depot? We should abandon the current U.S. government system and replace it with the ranking system and warrior cats. Don't at me. Just saying that Obama's star is way cooler than Trump's star. Also, what the hell are kids then? Babies. Duh. Are you talking about kids are going to be princes for like 12 heckin' years? That's 24 times as long. Yes, 12 years. First grade to 12th grade. American school system. I've thought this through. And what the heck is a mess and cat? You guys, you are you guys are really not thinking this through, huh? It's a fucking doctor, you degenerate. Wait, what are cats then? They're still cats. What the fuck are you on? Do we actually hunt for food, or do we go to, or do we go grocery shopping and call it hunting? I said the ranking system, not their lifestyle. I'm going to lose it. The fuck is a warrior cat? Somebody, someone's going to die today, and as sure as hell, well, it's not going to be me. Will the time zones become the clans, or would it just be randomly assigned? It's a ranking system. The leader is the president. It's one clan. We're one clan. Can't you freaking read? I'm this close to bursting into tears. What about other countries? Would there be a America clan and Canada clans and stuff? It does say U.S. government system on the original post. You saw that, right? You read the post. The U.S. just America. Wait, does that mean the president rules until someone else comes along and wrecks their shit? I mean, yeah, until that motherfucker dies, he's leader. That's how work cats works. Kill your leader, start right, and shut the fuck up. I'm so stressed. I, for one, do not think Trump should get nine lives. Neither should Tiger Star, but guess what? Isn't this just a monarchy or a dictatorship? It's the Warrior Cats ranking style. That's what it is. Hey, so what are deputies then? Hey, Top Hat Octopus! Stop trying to hide a stupid question in the tags. What do you think a vice president is? Where are two legs considered? You just. Like the guy who asked what cats would be. Two legs are people. We just want to use that term. Probably a dumb question, but what about rogues and loners? Rogues aren't even part of the clan ranking system. I do not I think I can handle this that much longer. What about, <laughs> what about other government officials? Are they just warriors or would they just not exist? They're warriors. They don't exist. I cannot do this anymore. Why the fuck is Firefox tweeting about warrior cats? Tweeting? I'm tweeting? Tweeting? This is Twitter? Huh? Is this fucking Twitter? Tumblr is so bad reading comprehension sometimes. And then sometimes it's so good it does this. Okay, but I did not know that there was a story about F. Scott's uh, Fitzgerald nervously showing Ernest Hemingway a, his uh, dong because Zelda said he couldn't satisfy one with it, and Ernest Hemingway was like, "Oh no, dude, you're you're fine." But Artie Martin's even the best part of that story in context is that before they pull out their their dongs, Hemingway spends the better part of their of a chapter physically describing Fitzgerald in great detail, claiming to be gr claiming to be grossed out by him, but obviously. Obviously, uncomfortably attracted. Oh my god, it got better. I just went to find an excerpt and... Scott was a man then, who looked like a boy with a face between handsome and pretty. He had very fair, wavy hair, a high forehead, and ex excited and friendly eyes, and a delicate, long-lipped Irish mouth that, on a girl, would have been the mouth of a beauty. His chin was well-built, 
and he had good ears and a handsome, almost beautiful, unmarked nose. This should not have added up to a pretty face, but that came from the coloring. The very fair hair in the mouth, the mouth worried you until you knew him, and then it worried you more. Ernest Hemingway, calm down and control your thirst a little. The mouth worried you until you knew him, and then it worried you more. It's a hell of a line. No homo, a literary masterpiece. Well, let's have a look at it. We got fake sword. Or is his movies a ball pit and Neil? Holy shit, is that Neil Gaiman? Yeah, he just sort of hangs around here. It's pretty cool. Actually, I think I'm done. I literally read all of that twice. My throat is hurting. And, of course, this is already a 21 minute video. It is the second time I'm reading it, so it's shorter than it was the first time. Anyway, that was r slash Tumblr. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!